Hey, what's up, dudes? I'm going to show you how to make a video converter program for Linux. I'm only going to, and it won't take me very long. It'll take me only a couple minutes to show you. So it's basically like this. Here's the whole program we're going to use. Let me show you what it does. Well, I'm going to open, I'm going to take all of this stuff, I'm just going to select it all and hit copy. I'm going to open up a terminal, control alt T, and then I'm going to hit paste, which is control alt V, see, uh, control shift V, sorry. Here we go. Anyway, so now we have this uh, program that's going to run. It says, let's convert videos in a folder with a certain extension, shall we? And then you got to pick no or yes. And then, okay, so here it says, if, we, and then here's the code. If we ran the script on accident, then exit. That's a code comment. And it says, uh, Zenity question text, let's convert videos in a folder with a, a certain extension, shall we? And it says what the OK label and the cancel label is. You can rename the labels however you want. Okay, and then I just said if the input is exactly equal to 1, then exit. So that will, if I said no to this answer here, that would close the terminal. Pretty simple stuff. And okay, so let's just hit yes though. Now it says please select a source folder. So how I programmed that in is I said source folder equals um, a dollar sign in parentheses and there's also parentheses on the end here and then I put Zenity file selection directory title so I just said open up a file selector dialog um, only let them pick directories and give the dialog this title please select source folder and if the user cancels, exit. Same thing as before. That's the same as this line. Okay, so let's do it. Let's pick a source directory. I already have a source directory on the, over here on this other folder. And so I'll copy that. Control L, Control C. Go back to my other program, Alt Tab, and uh, or to the, to the um, there we go. No. and paste it in there so I got my source folder choose input file extension I want it to pick all the MOD files that's a crazy Panasonic format in case you don't know and it says please select your destination folder uh, this one's going to be super awesome calling tutorial so put it in here and I say OK Choose the display aspect ratio, 16.9. Choose the dimensions, I'm going to do this one. And choose the codec you want. I'm going to do some editing, and um, H.264 is probably going to look the best, but it's a little bit slower in my editor, so I'm going to use MPEG-2. And uh, I'm going to do it at the, with a Q. So this right here is it's going to turn things into MPEG-2. Oh, look, it's not the best either, but it's going to go pretty quick. My original source video is MPEG video, so this conversion is going to go really fast. So I'll just pick that, and then boom. Now it's converting it at 31 frames a second. So anyways, that's it. That's how easy it is for me to convert videos. Um, and let's look at the rest of the script. So ask to choose an extension. I just say file extension equals... Um, I made a list that I wanted people to choose from. So you say Zenity list. The title is going to be this. Uh, the text, you can give um, different text inside of it. Anyway, I just make it the same. Uh, then you have to give the column a name. So you say the first column, it's the only column there is, is called extension. And you list a bunch of extensions. And then uh, if they cancel, hit exit. And then they, here's the one that asks them where they want to save stuff to. Here's the one that says, um, hey, if, if they pick the same source and destination folder, 
then that means they could possibly overwrite a file. So I ask them if it's okay, and if it's not, it'll exit. Um, then here's where you get to pick the aspect ratio. Here's where you get to pick the dimensions. Here's where you get to pick the video quality. And uh, uh, here is where here now here's where I just do kind of like I use if and if else's or l if is uh, else ifs so it's like this if the user selected web then convert the video using x264 so I say uh, go to the source folder that that's the that, and this is the way you say uh, you got this little variable sign source folder we created this source folder variable up in the very top up here and when I said uh, source folder equals uh, the file selection please select a source folder so when they pick the source folder it gets stored into this source folder variable so um, anyways and then I pick the vid so I say go to the source folder and I say if the video quality depict was web then for I in file extension which is .mod so this basically means for all the mod files in this folder do this command so basically if we picked web do this command on all the files in the folder with the extension we picked. And so this command here is using a program called ffmpeg, which comes with uh, Linux, most Linux, uh, and you can also get it for Windows and for Mac. Um, and it's just a command line program. So this is all Linux stuff. You should have it, like if you have Ubuntu or Linux Mint, or I think, D anyways, whatever, you, can, you should be able to figure out how to get it. So this is what my command does. I say use both of, I have a dual core processor. I say use both cores, threads two. And I say the input is going to be variable i, which we said here is all of the files that are star.mod, we picked, or whatever file extension we pick. Um, I say that the audio codec is going to be mp3, so live mp3 lame is what you pick. And the quality AQ192. That's going to be, make it 192 kilobits per second. I almost think, anyway. Um, then I say video codec is live x264 with a preset of slow. That is going to make a really good h264 video. And it won't take too much time, but it'll take a little bit of time. And the quality will come out good for uh, the file size. Uh, you can, so, and I also say deinterlace it because uh, I don't like having interlacing in videos that I'm trying to edit because sometimes you have problems later with that. And then I say the size is the dimensions we picked in the, in the uh, variable dimensions uh, that we created above when we asked them for dimensions. The aspect ratio is going to be the one, the aspect ratio they, they picked, DAR, display aspect ratio, is uh, right here. Uh, choose a dimension. And uh, that is going to be, or where is it? Where is the display aspect? Oh, right here. DAR equals choose the display aspect ratio. So I put that in there. And then the destination folder slash the original name of the file dot mp4. Anyway, so these, all the rest of these are different variations on the same ffmpeg command. So let's see if I can make this go all the way out. Uh, I can't really show you the very end of that last command, so I'll scroll over here. That's the same thing. It just says destination folder, so and it ends in MPEG. Uh, so I hope the audio didn't come out too bad. I realized I was bumping the mic the whole time. Uh, we'll see. Later, guys. Oh, come on. Let's see here. This the one? Yeah.